So we conducted a scoping review to examine what sorts of aphasia therapy are regarded as multimodal, and we used systematic, systematic search methods, included grey literature, and the research resulted in 33 original research items. So results were a mess. Um, it seems that speech pathology doesn't even agree on what a modality is. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, in general, some used additional modalities as stimuli for patients to respond to. Some use some had patient uh, participants producing responses in different modalities. Others used other modalities as cueing participants, and some used a mix. Um, and then some people described traditional cueing hierarchies as multimodal. So we suggest that aphasia researchers need to be pretty cautious about describing a treatment as multimodal, assuming that everyone knows what they're talking about. Um, we did manage to find one kind of dimension that differentiated most treatments, and that was whether additional modalities were used to facilitate spoken or written communication, as in using melody to improve um, verbal utterances, or using gesture to help word retrieval. So using them as a means to an end, compared to using additional modalities as communication channels in themselves, so teaching someone to draw during conversation, using an AAC, <coughs> that sort of thing. So there's a lot more detail in our forthcoming paper, um, but I want to outline the proposed definition and model of multimodal that we've come up with. So we'd suggest that a treatment is not labelled as multimodal if it involves just a picture stimulus and either spoken or auditory written channels, because they're pretty much ubiquitous in aphasia therapy. <clears throat> Instead, we think multimodal treatment may use these, but it should also use another modality such as gesture, music, drawing, melody, uh, something like that. And then within that category, we suggest that authors distinguish between those therapies that aim to improve verbal communication as in written or spoken, or those that are teaching using modalities as communication channels within themselves. Now for some people this will be, they'll be saying that's what multimodal is already and others will um, want to crucify us for suggesting this. So we need more consensus on this model but we think it makes sense based on the data we looked at based on kind of common understandings of these terms. So hopefully we're bringing a little bit of clarity to research and phaseology um, and keep an eye out for our paper which is out soon.